Welcome to the show. Well, this week we're up at Cape York and we're fishing wide at the moment, 100 k's offshore with the guys from CY Charters. Now, have a look at this beautiful GT. We've done some reef fishing, we've caught plenty, and we're out here now popper fishing. Lots of action on the show. Let's check it out. My mates and I are living the dream in our remote fantasy island camp. And the fishing up here is fast and furious. Oh! There's fishing excitement that's a bit more gentle in the fresh. The nice big yellow. We show you a tasty way to cook and serve Red Throat Emperor. Oh, big cod's just taking it off. But for rare thrills, it's hard to beat this very hungry cod. Big mouth. Camping doesn't get much more remote than here on Halfway Island, off the tip of Cape York. But there's nothing remotely rough about our cruise campsite meals. We've come over from the Albany Island Fishing Lodge, which is already so remote, we got there with Great Barrier Reef helicopters. Well, day two, and we're back on board the Meridian, but it's exciting stuff out here. You never know what you're going to catch. There's all sorts of tuna. You've got mackerel. You've got trevally sitting underneath, and a whole myriad of reef fish right down on the bottom. So everything's right here. All the boys are super excited. Casts are going everywhere and someone's bound to hook up soon. Never know what's going to happen. That's it, just watch her keep it down. That's it, keep... Lift yours, Mick. Oh! Just hold him there. Yeah, just let a bit of line out. Joe, just like it. Yeah, that's it. Just keep him about the aid. There we go. Yep, there he goes. Put a bit of weight behind her. Just trying to get the pressure on. Yeah, nice fish. Uh, that blue water classic lure. It's trying to shake it free. Oh, well, there you go. End result of a uh, one of the blue water classic lures. Beautiful Aussie fish. I'll slide him in the kill tank. He'll be uh, dinner tonight, no doubt. Oh, no, you need to tighten your drag a little bit. It's just too loose. A little shark. Look at that. Trout. Yeah. Woo! That's a cracking fish. Another species out there. Wow, that's awesome. And this would have been a real dominant fish, like anything that went in his territory. Man, whack, and that's exactly what your popper copped. He copped a whack, but this fella got the shock of his life, I reckon. Yeah, shock of his life, thank God we're putting him back though. How good is that? Live for another day. That shark built. There's another one. Break the line any minute. Nice mackerel. Oh, he's a beauty. Oh. Yeah, That's a big, beautiful 
Spanish mackerel. Shock. Yeah. Shock City. Probably the same one. Bloody shark. But if you thought that was exciting, wait till you see this. Oh yeah. Oh, a mackerel. Barracuda, is it? Oh, <laughs> look at him go. Oh, oh big cod's just taken it off. Now I'm onto a big grape. Oh. <laughs> Just the whole, everything you want in, in fishing right here, right now. Oh, look at this big guy. Oh, big bucket mouth. Whoa. No way in the world he wanted to let that go. He's a beast, isn't he? Look at his big mouth. He took it out of the, out of the mouth of the mackerel. John? Oh! oh. Now that's a big fat cod. <laughs> Woohoo! Look at that big guy. He actually took the lure out of the mackerel's mouth. That was incredible. What a beautiful fish. John, yeah, Johnny! There we go, see you, buddy. Woohoo! What a beautiful fish, look at that. All right. This is Queensland's award-winning Lake Boondooma Recreation and Caravan Park. It's a draw card for anglers and campers. The camping facilities are right by the lake. You can put your boat straight out the front. And today, I'm looking forward to the challenge of catching two of Australia's native sport fish, the yellow belly and the Australian bass. But first, there's some hard driving to get to a kayak launch point. Well, this morning, we're heading down a very rough old track. I'm in four-wheel drive and in low, and uh, have a look at this, eh? Plenty of greenery, but also lots of big potholes as well. On the search for yellow belly, beautiful Australian native species. And I've got the BT50, the Mazda, down some pretty horrible stuff. You can see the tracks that we're manoeuvring around. It's fantastic to be in a vehicle that you know that won't just get you in the place, places like this but it'll actually get you back out and hopefully we've got the Hobie on board we'll throw the Hobie in see if we can uh, wrestle up a yellow belly or two my mate Blake is waiting to meet me with a secret weapon he's got to share this morning there we had a bit of success on uh, on a TN50 Jackal. Okay. Uh, so have you got one of those? Or? A Bibless Minnow. Got a little rattle in little it. Rattle, so, yeah. You can get a silent one. Okay. But the rattle one this morning seemed to be working well, so... That's good. The disturbed water below the weir is the perfect nutrition-rich environment in which to put my new Jackal to the test. A little yellow. Oh, no, she's a bass. Beautiful. Lovely little bass. Well, there we have it. I thought we'd be into the yellow belly. Uh, as you can see, a lovely little Aussie bass. Beautiful little bass. We'll put him straight back in. They grow to a few kilo in size, so fish like this size, up to almost 60 odd centimetres, is a real trophy. Anything over 50 is just an absolute stonker. range of size. These uh, native fish really breed up here in big numbers. Come on, buddy. They're a beautiful fish. It's just a great environment for them. Lots of fresh water, lots of bait fish. And this one, the yellow belly. We also have the Aussie bass. Beautiful fish. See you, mate. What I did that time, I actually was sitting really still in the Hobie and just jiggling it up and down on the spot. And uh, I got a little bump, and I lowered it fractionally. A few more little twitches. Oh, yeah, straight on. Good 
fish, whatever it is. <laughs> Pulling like a train. <laughs> a nice big yellow belly, that's all we're after. I thought we'd be collecting plenty of these guys. And there's a nice big yellow. Beautiful fish. Let's have a look at you, mate. Settle down. Well, there we go. <laughs> It just still surprised me, just the small mouth that these guys have got. Absolutely tiny, but they do engulf quite big baits. And here they've got all the bait walled up. So it's a perfect ambush spot for them along this strip. Ah, that smile comes back to my face. <laughs> Back up off Cape York, the fishing is about to get serious with a capital GT. Get it, get into him. Don't straighten your rod. Good stuff. Looks like a Trevally. Oh. Lift him up. Quick cup. Alright. Good stuff. Nice, alright. Woohoo! Keep him about there. Don't wind anymore. Just keep him there. Bring him back around. That's it. Bring him around. All the way. Well done, champion. Woohoo! All right. Oh, ho, ho. oh did you just see this. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. And it's not over for Levi yet. Yeah! Woohoo! Ow! Tighten him up, keep the bend in the rod. Keep the bend, mate. Did someone else go? Yeah. <laughs> He's on fire. Look at this, how many? What's this? Number what? Three. Three. Oh, three. three. And uh, <laughs> zero for me. How many you got, Johnny? Three. 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 None, mate. None. None. Faster than you had, mate. Oh, he got a hawk. That's it. That's it. Yeah, get another wind on him. He's a good fish. That's it. Look at that. That's a beauty. Woohoo! Well done. The big popper. The big rooster popper, that one. Awesome. There's still more to come. Oh! Let me hammer it. Oh, work out the half with these guys. Yet still, it keeps getting better. Oh, yep. Oh. Yep, yep, yes. There's another one there. Oh, I lost it. Oh, right there. Woohoo! Well done, champion. Good stuff. I reckon 18 kilo, that one. Yep. Whew, they're a pretty hardy fish, these guys. Righto, we'll put him back in. And that's as good as it got for today. Sustainability of the foods we eat is a hot topic these days, and one place you'll often see a sustainable food chain in action 
is the hustle and bustle of your local fish market. I'm here with Chef Paul Brahini and our FRDC Fish of the Week is the Red Throat Emperor. Now, Paul, I love chasing these hard-fighting reef fish. How do you like to cook them? I'm going to lightly sear it today and I'm serving that with a pappardella pasta and we're going to serve it with some Mediterranean vegetables. Ooh, that sounds delicious. Well, while you're cooking the fish, let's find out a little bit more about the Red Throat Emperor. Red Throat Emperor, sometimes incorrectly called Red Throat Sweet Lip, Lipper, Nanny Guy, Island Snapper, Tricky Snapper or Trumpet Emperor are caught commercially off the coasts of Queensland and Western Australia. So I've got some beautiful pappardella pasta here. I'm going to pop it into uh, some well salted water. So plenty of sea salt goes in there. So it takes a little bit longer than say spaghetti, uh, fettuccine, but it is really, really good to go with a delicate piece of fish. So while the pasta's um, happening there, it's time to pan sear the red throat emperor. The fish in the Indian and Pacific Oceans are two distinctly different biological stocks. The red throat emperor is commercially important in Queensland with a total of over 300 tonne caught each year. But the Western Australian fishery is comparatively small, not quite 50 tonne. Flesh side down, not the skin side down. Now these guys are only going to take uh, probably a matter of around about two minutes either side. The good news is that the stock in Queensland is considered sustainable. So sustainable in fact that the current commercial catch is half or less of the estimated maximum sustainable yield. The smells that are starting to come off this dish now are absolutely amazing. Just takes me back to when I was in Italy. It really, really is good. The last thing I'm going to pop in here now is crumble some feta cheese and just let that melt into the uh, pasta with the heat of the pan. I'm just going to tear some basil in here so it nicely wilts into the dish, infusing it. Now just to refresh the dish, I'm going to squeeze some lemon. This will bring all these flavours together. And now I'm going to add my pasta. Pop it in the middle. And then we're going to put our beautiful Mediterranean vegetables in the centre. So then we've just got to top this with our Red Throat Emperor. And then just a little bit of oiled rocket. So there we go, guys. Some beautiful Red Throat Emperor with pappardella pasta and Mediterranean vegetables. Wow, look at that. Oh, <laughs> it smells so good. I bet it tastes even better. Go to fish.gov.au for all the facts and figures or fishfiles.com.au for great nutritional information and serving ideas. You'll find Paul's Red Throat Emperor recipe on the front page of the Escape with ET website. A long way south from Cape York, but still in Queensland, the peaceful surroundings of placid Lake Boondoomba are luring me to launch my Quintrex top ender for a more gentle form of fishing adventure. Well, we just put in at Bondoomba Dam up here in southeast Queensland. Got the beaut Mazda BT50. This is the latest uh, model, and I can tell you something special. We've been uh, cruising up along the coastline, fishing the different dams, and this has just been an absolute powerhouse. All right, we've got a cracking day ahead. Let's see how we go. These beautifully structure-laden waters invite fishing or just pleasure cruising at any time of the day. But early morning is the magic time for my fishing mate Blake Hughes and me. And I always wear my life jacket, no matter how placid and peaceful the lake may be because you never know what could happen on any water. Between my Minn Kota and Garmin Marine Electronics, we've got the best chance of locating and staying on the fish. But when you're fishing an environment as picturesque as this, the bites we're hoping for could almost be considered a bonus. The lake covers 10 square kilometres. And with an average depth of 11 metres, it's the perfect habitat for Australian bass and golden perch, which were introduced soon after the dam was completed. Naturally occurring catfish and bony brim are also here in big numbers. But this is what we're after. Weather. 
Bigger than Blakey's. Oh, nice. Ah, oh, yeah, looks good. Well, I hope you enjoyed my fishing video. If you did, make sure you like it and comment below. If you're new to this channel, subscribe and tell a friend and make sure you press the notification bell so you're notified of our next video.